Oh, folks. And now for a few words from Boston, Massachusetts own Michael James. Oh, goody, goody. I wonder what uh, what he's got on his tiny little mind. Well, coming off a huge win at um, at WAW presents uh, uh. Unequaled. Yeah, Defeating I'm not the likes of the Minutemen, I'm not gonna Tommy Trainwreck, and Devin Storm. Yeah, well, you know that I noticed he doesn't have around his waist the WAW Championship. And why is that? Oh, that's because Garbo beat him like a redheaded stepchild. He cheated. Mr. James and, is a gentleman. In a match, a, of, a, a match of James's own choosing. Garbo cheated. Due to bad refereeing. What? Don't you forget that. What? Champ right now. I agree. Uh, but thanks to a red guy who's not going to be around for a while. Because of you, you tool. Red guy tripped. I'm standing here. I went into the Newton show last week against two of the biggest indie guys in the Northeast. And I came out on top. That means I should get. Um. Speaking of coming out on top, I usually come out on top. No, you don't. This man does the all-American nightmare, Mr. Major Morpheus Marenzi, who evidently has a difference of opinion with Mr. James. So you think you deserve a title shot just because you came out on top last week? Well, just remember, two weeks ago at Apocalypse, I came out on top. I made Sage apologize to everybody about this. Beautifully, too. Not us. He forgot oh, us. Very yeah. I forgot you. I just made him quit, too. Yeah! If I remember, last week, I had a match with the number one contender. And you know what? I beat him down in New End in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. If anybody deserves a title shot, it's me. Well, I have an idea to settle this argument, Mr. Uh, Bishop. You already had your chance. It's my turn now. Well, I'll just say we settled this like men right here in the middle of the ring. All right. It's on. Surrender, Obi. Oh, he cut him off. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Michael James spoiling for a uh, beatdown by the All American Nightmare, the Machine. There's the bell, and here we go. Michael James. Oh, look at this. Smartly ducking out. He's got to recompose himself. Smartly ducking out. He's got to think out. about what he's going to do in this match. First and foremost, Michael James does not have two brain cells to rub together to think. Secondly, when you're in the ring with Moops, the only thing you have to think about is, is how bad the out of the ring is exactly. Which Mr. James and running did. the other direction, not walking around. You know, he says he wants to settle this like men, and then he pulls that. All right, here we go, though. Go behind right there. Oh, knee. Michael James working hard on Morpheus Marenzi, but again, Morpheus beat Carnage, and what? What is he doing? Using that tape to grind in the forehead oh, of Major Morpheus on. Marenzi. Oh, of course, that tape is a uh, signature of the Flaming Fist. Which we will hopefully not be seeing tonight as Mar Major Morpheus Marenzi tries to fire up. And gets locked right down into the headlock. The fact is, yes, both these men were uh, victorious and Newton. Major Morpheus Morenci did beat Carnage. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow, no, wow. Headlock takedown. See, I mean, yes, he beat Carnage, and he did beat Sage at Apocalypse. Yes, he did. All right, that's very impressive. Mr. James did lose the main event of Apocalypse, but he was in the main event nonetheless. That does count. 
and he lost the main event. He yes. did, but yeah. he did beat two seasoned workers from the New England uh, independent scene, Trommy Trainwreck and Devin Storm, in WAW's ring to prove why WAW is superior. Yeah, well, here he's still got his work cut out for him if he's going to be going against Moops, who is not tapping out despite James's best efforts. And again, nothing on Moira Morpheus Morenci who did, as you said, made Sage apologize. You forgot us. I'm still very bitter about that. You forgot that. you. You, you can be bitter as you like. And Major now Morris. here we go. More Major Morris Morenci showing, locking in that wrist lock and twisting up Michael James. Not that that takes much. And giving him a side headlock of his own. Well, Major Morpheus Morenci, he's the all-American nightmare, the system of rage. He's a machine. He is. Three to the M to the third power goes off. Oh, no. Wow. He's he gets tank, thrown. But, whoa, wait a minute. Right into the leg raise. you got to understand, he has the arm locked in. Think about this. Mr. James has been a lot more methodical since dumping. Da -da -da since betraying, fan. say the right word, betraying. He didn't cheat on her. She he cheated on him I'm with her brother. Sorry. Remember they met up in the hotel? Cole caught her in the middle of the ring. Hey, you know what? His own brother said they met up in a hotel. I mean, that's a little shady to me. Everything's shady to you, Chaz. Exactly. And Not hold Mr. On. James. He's right down the middle. Ma Major Morpheus Morenci, though, powering out. Good wow. God. And oh my God. God Almighty. Oh Major my Morpheus God. Morenci is going to drop Mr. James <laughs> on his Mr. head. James, no place to go. Gets thrown into the turnbuckle. And now the machine firing up. With these big chops, big haymakers coming in the corner, tree of woe position. Shady. And Shades there we go. a full metal jacket right there. Well, again, he is the last man standing, if you will, of full metal jacket. He and is. <laughs> this is vintage full metal jacket right here, maybe with the salute to the fans. And the fans fired up right behind him. Michael James, nowhere to go. Well, there's one place to go. That's straight. up oh, and then dear. straight down to the mat. Boom! Up at the lights. One, two. That's the worst place you want to be in a ring is looking up at the well, lights. Well, you're talking about methodical. Major Morphe's mercy. Again, he is a machine. He weighs cost and effectiveness. How can I hurt you? How can I damage you? And here he goes showing Michael James. Whoa, wait a minute. But see, the problem is, oh, wow. You're right. He's, I wouldn't say he's as methodical as Mr. James. Mr. James actually thinks his move before he makes it. He sits there and he ponders what he's going to do. Major Morpheus Morenci is a freight train who keeps going, going, and going, and going until you stop. Or until you stop him. Well, Michael James now on the right track, so to speak. Everything, brush. everything Michael James does, there's a reason for. If he works your arm the Wait whole time, oh. Oh. if he's going to paintbrush you in the face, kick you in the skull, hurt your neck, there is a reason for it. And now one, two. Very close two count as Michael James capitalizing. But again, he's still in there with a system of rage. Mo Major Morpheus Morenci, you can Former hit him with... six-time WAW champion. And Truven Y, reversal incoming. Oh, my God. No, no, Wait no. Oh, wow. Major moves bite back up. Tries to go for that smoke out, but... Wait a minute, what do we got here? Oh, God. Oh. What? Cross neck breaker. One, One two. two. Kicks out. Very close. I will admit, this would be a big feather in, in Michael James's cap. Who's he's faced since breaking with Delilah? Delilah, Trixie. He faced his former team team partner. And well, no, come on. That's a steel chair. That is a steel noticed. chair, and it does not belong in this ring at this moment. And Johnny Psycho making it clear. He makes the contact with that. He stopped. Oh. Oh, come on. That's it. All right, well, uh, Major Morpheus Morenci is the winner by disqualification. And, and wait a minute, he goes, you called this the 187 on the chair. Oh my god, come on. Give me a break. And Michael James. Oh, Michael James might be the loser of this match, but he's walking out of here after making a huge statement. Yeah, a statement like that, he can't win clean. He Moves didn't need, cold he didn't cocked. Win. 
Yeah, Moose Coldcock with a chair. I mean, Michael James, uh, he's got to have a reason to find it. He always does. Major Morbius Morenci out in, out in the middle of the ring after the 187 on the chair. Where we take you backstage right now. Yo, yo, Moody. Dude, I'm back here because I thought no one would find me. What's up? Well, I just want to talk to you about um, some ideas I have for the new Pure Division rules, seeing how I'm champ. I could pitch in my own set of rules. New Pure rules again? My god, do we still have that title? Yeah, I mean, I'm the Pure oh, Division right, champ. right, right, that's cool. Yeah, so, would you lend an ear? <laughs> Sounds like you're coming on to me. <laughs> what are you, 18 years old? No, no, I'm 20. Hey, hey, they don't call me the Cougar because I love younger men. That's exactly why they call me a Cougar. Are you hitting on me? Because I wasn't hitting on you. Uh, no. <laughs> Although dark meat's awesome. <laughs> oh, what's going on over here, huh? What? What did I just walk into? You look a little Nothing nervous, Modi. Why you look so nervous, Modi? I'll tell you why you look nervous. Because election season, right? No. I'm running no. for president this year. Your, oh. your days are numbered, Modi. Um, I'm You're sorry. New president. president of what? W A W. Uh, no, 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 no. Do you see a title belt around my waist? The WAW presidency is not a title that people can challenge me for. I'm just the president. You hearing this? And you're She's not. a total communist, people. A communist. All right? You don't, you don't want that. Moody Star hates freedom. Shut up. But she loves dark meat. She loves the dark meat. I heard it. I got it right here on camera, dude. I'm going to show everyone. Why are you walking around with the camera? I, I, I'm totally out of ideas for this Buck the World thing, so I'm just kind of here. Don't shit at the wall, see what sticks. So you're coming at me telling me you're going to take my gerb? Oh, yeah. Yeah, quite frankly, I don't think we're ready for Buck the President. I don't think you've got the smarts. I think it'd be pretty awesome. I haven't really thought the thing through. I'm kind of just making up as I go, but I think it'd be pretty awesome. Hmm. You know what? Both of you keep walking. Keep walking. And while you're walking, get yourself ready because that pure Rican belt is going to be on the line. Yeah. Oh, you sweet. And you. WW Pure Title. Get going. Wow. Look at Tosh. I just for fucking interrupting her promo. That's amazing. And, more often. Moody, if you need any more hot, spicy Spanish cuisine, you know which chef you need to kiss. Talk to you later. I, was that like a... I do like tacos? The following contest is for the WWE Pure Championship. And we'll be decide under Pure Wrestling Championship rules. And it's going to fall one fall with the 20 minute time limit. Henry first, the challenger, heading from Lynn, Massachusetts, the sexual Tehran stars, back on us! Well, here we go. This is, in some respects, a rebirth of the pure division. The board of directors, of course, go, looking over the rules, looking over the most recent activities, and have finally codified what the well, future Hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Bishop. I know the board of directors said not to say anything, but let's give credit where credit's due. Me and you also sat down and helped iron out the board of directors with the pure division. Let's give credit where credit's due. It was suggest- both of us. Take the credit, Mr. Bishop. Oh, for the love of the Take God. the credit. Yeah, just focus on the freaking match. All right. Henry second, the WWE Pure Champion, heading from Marvelous, Puerto Rico, is a born quad brother and great fan. Whoa, and listen to that crowd. The Puerto Rican champion fired up, ready for his first defense under the new rules. Well, he had to approve it with the board of directors help, of course. Moody Star finally giving the stamp on it. Let's go over a little bit. Of course, the handshake rule will still be intact. Of you course. shake the hand or you're disqualified if you're champion. It's a reversal of decision by the end of the match. If you win, you don't shake a hand. Reverse decision. All pure matches will always will have to start with a tie-up. Titles can, most importantly, can, C-A-N, C-A-N, can change hands on a disqualification, Mr. Bishop. Big difference there. And this is the big one, the biggest rule oh, in the new pure division. This, new this is tap or snap, Mr. It Bishop. Is. You, you can't. No, 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 I want to do this one, Chaz. Uh, in normal matches, you get into a submission, you can grab onto the ropes, You have to. The, your opponent has to the count of five to release you. The pure division, you don't get that safety net. It is tap or snap. You grab those ropes, you can grab with your foot, your hand, your head, your Johnson, don't matter, nothing. Did you say you, your Johnson? 
No, I said your Johnson. Oh, oh wait okay. a minute. Why did I say your Johnson? Never mind. That's anyway, trippy. here we go. Traditional well, tie-up. Traditional tie-up. And we'll continue with the pure title rules. It's very simple. The pure title cannot be defended in fatal four ways, triple threat matches. No nope. sudden death rules. It's got to be tag in and out elimination. So that's three-way dances, four-way dances, basically. All right. Speaking of dancing, Buckter Ross going to work on Andreas Reyes. And this is actually a big slap on the face to the other rules in all the other divisions. A weapon cannot be used directly or indirectly. You throw your opponent into weapon, you're disqualified. Yep. No man lands doesn't exist in pure division. You got 10 seconds to get back in that ring. Exactly. And you cannot break your and you cannot break that 10 seconds. You cannot. Managers and valets are no longer around by ring size. And on the event of a ring out competitor, they have the count of 10 to return. So, of course, like you just said, you can't break it. You have to result in 10 or result in a disqualification. And here we go as Buck working on the on Andreas Reyes. Well, Buck's a little upset. He's the resident Jedi of WAW. We couldn't use Jedi. the force in this match, or he would be uh, only force that's on Buck's side. The force, force of gravity. He didn't, didn't want to use the fork. The fork? He couldn't use the fork in this match. Well, you can't fork around with that. No, you can't. But your title of rules. Speaking baby. of which, Andreas Reyes though working his way, trying Rolling to get that front, arm. Gets him down right back into a tie up here, right in the arm. And Buck powering out, Andreas Reyes keeping him tied up, and Andreas Reyes who has walked through fire to hold that title. Mm. Oh, think about this, it's a oh, huge feather in Andreas Reyes' cap this past weekend in Newton. Not only did he put out Arkham again, who I really don't understand who needs to listen and not... Big shoulders, Buck going direction. over. But he put out former pure champion, pure toss. pioneer, JT Lambo. We beat him in the middle of the ring. It did. The, uh, what did you call him, Chaz? The what? The innovator, pure innovator, purinator. Pure oh, wait a minute. One, one two. The nope. pure innovator. Pure innovator. Andreas Reyes took him down and now is donning a new age in the pure division. Well, this right here, the great thing about these pure rules right here is they cannot change. The board of directors and Moody Star put their stamp on. It doesn't matter who's champion. These rules will not change. Well, the only no rule that what. Buck is getting right is the rule of pain. And, well, wait a minute. Reverse on big, Andreas. line right there. Back, back elbow. elbow. Back to Russ. Andreas Reyes fighting hard for this one. Buck Ross. Ross. Oh, big knee. Buck to Ross has got to stand like seven foot two, seven foot five. you think? One. Two. No, unfortunately, seven foot two. Six I mean, look, feet, he's maybe. a giant. He's a giant. Guy weighs about 82 pounds, and that includes his gear. So what? He can be and a giant. Hair. But Andreas Reyes, of course, the Barrico Brawler, the pure Torrican champion, as he likes to call himself. The guy who sells oranges in front of him. He does not sell oranges. Stop saying that. But he's it's a champion. True. Show him some respect. And respect well, isn't demanded just because you hold a piece of gold around your waist. I got a belt buckle. I've earned all the respect I got. Oh! oh wow. Ah. Curb stomp from the bottom rope. I gotta say that wasn't very pure. Well, what does matters though is Buck is on top at this point. The sexual Tyrannosaurus maybe going, going up the oh, going for a TNT leg drop. And misfiring. There's no padding from Buck to Ross. He landed all on bone, pure bone. And hold Manhattan. on. Manhattan. Little Bucky getting hurt here, and now Andreas Reyes up on the ropes. Oh, man. <laughs> Another one. Buck DeRoss complaining about the front and back. He doesn't want to go this time. Oh, oh. slingshot suplex. And Buck DeRoss doing everything I can to fight out of it. Well, no place to go. You tap and you snap in the pure division, and here we go. I can't believe he's still using it. That's such a disrespect to one, Mr. Sage. One, two. Oh, as if Sage deserves any respect. Don't talk about him. Sage Durello is a respectable man. No, he's man. not. I miss Sage Zarello. Catering I, How Sage could you Zarello. miss Sage Zarello? Well, he's in Manchester. I mean, like, all around Manchester. Yeah, when he sits around Manchester, he sits around Manchester. And, and Andreas Manchester sits Reyes, around him, and actually. Andreas Reyes now head full head of steam coming in. Misses. Oh, wow. Ooh. Head off the turn post. Buck to Ross setting out. Wait a minute. Das Boot. Uh, das Boot. Oh, Das Boot. Sinking Andreas Reyes. We may have a new pure champion tonight. One, two. No. The fans, though, getting behind Andreas Reyes. Buck to Ross, wondering what I think it's going to take to keep him down, and I think I know what he's going for next. Offer him some money. They, they do jobs for money. I, buck shot. No, that's not the buck shot, baby. This is number 13 at the local gulp and sip. This is the big buck deluxe right here. Pardon me. 
Oh, and man. bam, the big buck deluxe connect. We got a pin. One, two. No. Nope. Kick out at two. Man, not only does he sell oranges, he drinks his orange juice. That's what Would keeps him so with strong, that? baby. Stop with that. And wait a minute, Kevorkian and Scarf locked in. Hey, you know what? Shots are banning and drinks the whiskey. Andreas Rage drinks the. Uh, yeah, go ahead, finish the orange that juice. Spot. And Buck DeRoss drinks the Oval Team, baby. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a weight for it. And Andreas Reyes, though, That's like a good one. Skin. This right here proves a good Again. point. Tap or snap. The ropes mean nothing. Exactly. The ropes mean nothing in this match. That's why he's not going for him. He's right there, but they mean and nothing. And Andreas Reyes powering up. Big elbow drives off Buck to Ross. Goes oh, for the das boot again. No, wait a minute. Kick to the bread basket. Hold on. Gets him up, maybe. It and is the El Rudo. El Rudo. And this is it. One, two, three. Buck to Ross loses again. I'm stealing it. And class. you know who does win? Thank you, Pete. The Puerto Rican champion, Andreas Reyes, wins his first match under the new rules. And we are off to a good start with this division. Wait, wait, what do you got in that Bible? What? I saw a hip flask in that Bible. That is not a flask. Those are the scriptures, those are the words of greatness. The juice of greatness. Would you like some? I don't know, what's in the flask? Whiskey, what else? Oh, give me that. Oh, uh, here we go. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. He gotta he's, shake he's his gotta hand. gotta shake his hand. Or he's banned from there the division. There it is. Alright. Maybe oh. Buck Duras wants his sunglasses back. I don't know. I think these belong to you, Buck. And the champion standing tall. Well, Andreas Race is on track. I mean, he's defended against the best of the best in the division. The very hey, best of us. Right now, we got a very special match. We got the, uh, well, no, a Moody Star? All right, we got Moody Star next. Yeah, you missed her earlier. No, I never miss Moody Star. I never miss her either. Whenever she goes, I'm like, oh, good. 